So what we're doing here at GSCA is setting a new bar. IMAX film 1570 65 millimeter has been the standard, the gold standard for generations. Unfortunately, film is going away and it's harder and harder to get good film content for domes because it's very expensive to strike a print and to have that available for that marketplace. So a lot of producers are going digital. Where does that leave the domes? They need a digital solution. We put out re requests for proposal to the industry to say, come on, show us the best you can deliver. Um, Evans and Sutherland and Christie teamed up and at this conference they've installed really the best of the best. So what we're doing is we're raising the bar. We're going with a true 8K system. As Evans and Sutherland, we've engineered an incredible way of blending 10 projectors together to get the maximum resolution and image quality and brightness on the dome to replicate and exceed that 1570 experience. Nobody else is doing this. And in partnership with Christy, with the wonderful Mirage projectors that offer us 120 hertz playback and incredible brightness, and the flexibility of installing them wherever they need to go, rather than where they want to go, we can put them where they need to be. And it's gonna be an incredible experience for the audience because they're gonna see the potential of digital in a way that exceeds what they're used to, in a way that's never been done before. We're making history, and I couldn't be more excited about that. We've sat in post-production studios getting really credible side-by-side -side comparisons, and that's what we're seeing here at the conference the best of film versus the best of digital. Everybody's come together. This is a one-off opportunity to really test the metal of digital versus film. We've got the best film content. We've got 8K mastered content. We've got content from the best digital cameras available in the market. Everybody's come together to put the best on screen that we can show. What higher frame rate does, especially in a dome where you've got such a wide field of view, is reduce judder and blur that you get, especially in the big camera shots. Those big wow moments will be even more wow with digital. Um, certainly as a filmmaker, seeing your stuff up on this new dome, it's just absolutely incredible. Like uh, there was one thing that we came out of today knowing and the future is certainly the dome and digital dome. It's uh, for a filmmaker, it's probably one of the best canvases that we could ever have to, to showcase her work and uh, it is really, really exciting. It's seamless, there was great contrast and it's bright and I got those words from an Emmy Award winning filmmaker. We love the Dome, I love the Dome experience and so I'm really happy that it was so good. I was hoping that it was going to be as good as it was and it's extraordinarily good and I'm happy for you guys. That's really the, the bottom line. I'm happy for you guys. I think today we really have seen the future. You know, people are being, uh, there's a cliche about it, but I think that we've seen incredible image stability, clarity, uh, we've seen a tremendous amount of information. So I had a clip uh, of material that I've seen in different formats, in, uh, in, in xenon digital, uh, in laser, in film, uh, and today I saw information that I had never seen before. What's amazing about a true 8K system is that you have this incredible canvas of pixels. And so any content you put on there inherently looks better because you have this sharp canvas of pixels to display it. And so when you have true 8K content on it, it really sings. But even stuff upscaled from 6K looks great. I think people are gonna be amazed at how great content looks in this context. And it'll replace the need for 1570 film because we've exceeded it and we've created a canvas that is nothing like anything else anybody's ever seen.